Hi fun, we are back, finally. It's been a week, for some strange reason. I'm always late now putting up videos. I've been so busy with work and all sorts of things, but we're back, and we're back with the Air Jordan 11 cap and gown. Here's the shoe. I was hoping that Jordan brand would only release one 11 a year, but apparently now they're going to do a few more. I know I've heard rumours that Travis Scott's going to have two pairs coming. I've heard rumours that that's going to happen by the end of the year. I'm hoping it isn't, to be honest. I know his fours are coming out, which look really good after me. I will try and get a pair. I'll enter a few raffles. We'll try on the Nike app. But at the end of the day, I don't think I'm going to get them. But we're going to talk about the Jordan 11 cap and gown. I have to admit, I do some clothes to the shoe. I really like the shoe. I know it might be a bit boring for some, but I do actually really like it. And it does have to admit, when you get it open, open the box, it smells really good. So let's just go straight into the review. Right, and here's the shoe. I have to admit, I do like, I still like the good old, like the original OG patented leather on the top, high patented leather. And of course you've got your brand new metal jumpman. And on the uh, tips, you have got your good old metal, metal lace tips as well. And of course you do get the traditional drawn 11s, you do get the plastic black shoe tree, so we plop that on the floor. And of course the laces are just like the laces you get on a gown, which I have to admit the laces are proper, very nice. And the suede is unbelievable, it's ridiculously soft. Look at that just changes colour. It, that's my phone. Uh, but the uh, the suede is unbelievable and it changes colour. I am I am, I am proper, proper impressed with this shoe. Uh, I know people didn't like the uh, the blue tint on the bottom of the shoe, but actually I don't mind a bit of, a, a bit of the blue tint. It would have probably been nice to see it all black. Uh, so it's a proper black on black on black, but I don't, I don't actually, I don't mind the uh, the sole. But yeah, there's the Jordan 11 cap and gown. Like I said, I was hoping Jordan was only going to release one shoe like they should have done. Uh, well, like they used to do, I should say, previous years instead of releasing two or three. Like I said, let's be start. I know Travis Scott's got a couple, which I'm hoping they don't release this year. Hopefully, they do it like next year. Just release one and then do a following. There should only only be for me one 11 a year. But it looks like Jordan are going around the two. And of course, we've got the Concord dropping. I believe it's October. I've said, I don't know what, but I've heard October. It probably might be December for Christmas again. Of course, I forgot to say on this one. You have got the Sony 23 at the back. I don't know, actually. On the, uh, I've seen some pictures that released a couple of days ago that the uh, 45 is going to be on the Concord. But I don't know if it's going to be stitched in like the Space Jam. So we'll have to wait and see. So there's the last look of the cap and gown. I'll just show you the box because it is a traditional proper Jordan 11 box with there's product coat and colours. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, and of course I will do on feet at the end of the video. Uh, the next video I'll do will be I'm not quite sure to be honest. I don't actually know what's coming out. But obviously the Travis Scott off white because none of that has dropped over in Europe yet, UK. So hopefully, we'll probably, I'll try and get the off-whites, which will probably be a good no. Try and get the Travis Scott as well, that'll probably be a no. But we'll just see, see what happens, see what happens. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.